Hi, this is Dana, and in this video, um, I have been guided by God uh, to take further um, the topic of toxic relations from a different perspective, from um, basically making a um, broad diagnosis of energy programming. Um, I, I was not at peace <laughs> uh, with the topic as, a, as it was presented. Uh, I know God has his own uh, view on, and purpose, you know, to do, uh, to achieve uh, things uh, with my videos. But um, I felt like, you know, it's not um, uh, sort of uh, comprehensive enough. Um, and so I asked God what to do. And God said, okay, make another video and talk about uh, energy diagnosis. Uh, to explain the consequences from a totally different perspective because uh, you know I have to say one thing on one hand I might might not seem uh, the proper person to speak about these uh, toxic relations because I did not um, stay in toxic relations long enough right uh, so I, I couldn't say that I have experience with toxic relations right but on the other hand, I must say that uh, because I didn't stay in toxic relations, I could play the observer role and looking uh, from outside in. I haven't been, unfortunately, lucky enough to have been protected completely from that. I still had my own experience with toxicity, uh, which has been thrown at me and toxic relations or toxic attachments, which other people um, uh, got on me. Um, and they've been following me for years and years, and, and I discovered, to my surprise, that uh, uh, they keep following me uh, and attacking me and slandering me and so on. But um, because I did not engage myself with them, um, I have the advantage of the observer, so watching uh, how this develops. And also, of course, I have the advantage of my own gifts, uh, in this particular case, namely the um, di energy diagnosis, so I can actually see. So uh, I know for some people, now I know that for some people it might seem awkward, but um, this gift um, <clears throat> means that actually when an attack comes at you or at me, I can actually see the darkness, the entity, the demon the type of uh, including the type of uh, demon which is attacking uh, i can see how is attacking i can see which chakra or, or whatever part of your body is attacking um so i can actually see it like a map i can literally see it like you look at a tv screen sort of um and that of course means that um since i clip uh, keep my energy clean and I have this uh, gift, I can also clean uh, my energy um, much easier. So from this perspective, I think uh, I have the legitimacy to talk about this topic. Also because I have done a lot of work with God, as God has guided me and showed me how this um, uh, plays out in a human body and how to clean it. And I had to do this in order to survive uh, because a huge, huge, huge amount of... Um, uh, darkness uh, attacks uh, has been directed at me uh, for a long time um, and this is the way I survived uh, within my um, uh, high level of uh, energy awareness uh, so and actually not only I survived but I uh, upgraded uh, because I gained much more experience and 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 so on uh, so from this perspective I would like to uh, explain in this video as guided by God just a few because there are so many ways in which this plays in a human body but just to give you a few examples for all those people who actually continue to make these choices and again i am not judging and i do not uh, intend to insult anyone for different choices of living their lives um, however many unfortunately many of the individuals who make these choices don't keep that for themselves they make these choices uh, to play with darkness or to allow darkness to play with them. Um, and then they project that as uh, other people like me who actually would don't uh, accept uh, this. So it becomes a, a matter of um, sort of like a war between uh, people with different choices of uh, lifestyles. Uh, so from this perspective, it is not fair. Um, 
so i'm um, explaining in this video maybe some of them will change their mind and will understand uh, how this plays this is what god is showing me god is showing me that maybe some of them um, make these choices out of uh, not being aware of how this works or what are the consequences or so on or maybe some of them decided to change their lifestyle and they don't know how i don't know basically god says that this is useful so um what i will say is that uh, from an energy diagnosis the entire type of toxic relation and particularly those uh, which involve uh, sexuality of any type um be it direct sexuality being just astral projection of sexuality of whatever because many people i have seen that they use sexuality in astral with no intent to actually have a relation with that individual but only in order to program him or her mentally and to control that individual or to make a claim on that individual a fake claim because there is no relation between them uh, but it's just using that in astral in order to create a fake reality and a fake claim on that individual. And if that individual does not know about this, doesn't have a high enough uh, energy awareness in order to see that somebody claimed uh, him or her, and that is using in astral energetically um, his or her energy or so on, um, that individual doesn't know how to defend himself or herself. You know, so this is important to understand because this determines your life, um, how it plays out. And this determines uh, your ascension. So um, because I know I only have 30 minutes, I, I should rush through my notes. Um, so essentially the entire, um, the purpose, the overall purpose of um, um, this type of energy attacks and programming is to break the spirit. So all the sexuality uh, attacks are being used in order to break the spirit. The sexuality attack is basically used in order to program you mentally to submit to certain things, to change your mind, to bend your free will, uh, to impose a choice on you, which is not your conscious choice. Many people uh, will say that, you know, they felt to do this. They, I, I heard many times this, like my mind says no, but my body says yes. No, that is not true. That's a projection, that's a programming. And it's an energy matter, you can clean it, you know. And you have to know that. Uh, so people need to understand that that is a breaking of the spirit which is happening. And um, they try, they do it with sexuality and as God has shown me, this is a gradual process in which they will convince you to accept different things gradually, one by one, until they control you completely, then they can make whatever they want out of you. And they can make you, I have seen individuals going up to murder, killing others, doing horrible things, uh, because they were controlled and you know, it becomes a matter of, okay, who's guilty for this? But you accepted this in your life. And then there is knowledge out there how to clean it. And you don't follow that. So you can do redemption with God and God can show you. There are many ways in which you, in which you can stop it, you know. Um, it's uh, finding, blaming others and blaming uh, uh, childhood trauma. Because trauma bonding is uh, very much uh, used. So essentially, as I said in other videos, they will particularly, uh, particularly create trauma in your life they will create a setup a situation killing somebody dear to you uh, traumatizing you uh, raping you even astral rape is a way of trauma bonding because they do this on your subconscious level and many people say okay an astral it's, it doesn't count of course it counts because that is on your subconscious level and um, a, a trauma on your subconscious uh, blocks you from uh, integrating your subconscious and conscious level that means you don't have energy awareness you don't know what is going on on your subconscious level and you're, you it's impossible to stay fully in your power as long as you don't integrate the subconscious with the conscious and then this is how you end up making decisions which do not represent you uh, and you wonder yourself why I made that well this is why somebody manipulated you and you must work on yourself so it's a breaking of the spirit. This is the overall uh, conclusion, right? But talking from energetic uh, point of view, I will say this. All the uh, feelings and emotions uh, generated by the toxic relations, which I have been described in, uh, I described in the previous video, 
I didn't describe them all. I just gave a few examples, you know, all this creating jealousy, anger, cheating on each other, to hurt each other, to humiliate each other, to, um, I don't know, uh, be jealous, to lie, to not trust, to, to hate, uh, to all of these negative emotions, basically, um, to have um, anxiety, self-doubt, you know, because uh, the, the one that was cheated on usually develops all of this, um, that it impacts your ability to speak up. Um, you fear confrontation out of because of all the fights and all the aggression, mutual aggression, which is uh, developed bullying uh, and, and so on. Um, and, and you have a, a psychological inability to speak your truth, to have a confrontation, to have a face-to-face -face discussion. Then you have an inability to not being able to speak your truth. That means you're going to be bullied much easier into fitting in in whatever environment you're being placed. So if everybody around you does this, then you're going to feel uh, compelled to do it as well just to fit in. That is not healthy. Uh, you don't have to fit in. Everybody is unique. God didn't make everybody the same. Everybody has different purpose, different gifts, different... And if somebody does the stupid things, I don't need to follow him, you know. But all of these are essentially attachments, really. They are really attachments. They are uh, entities, thought, uh, forms of thought and forms of emotion. These are forms of, of existence. These are demons without a body. Uh, so it's like a cloud, a darkness cloud uh, of energy, which is basically placed upon you. That can be healed, that can be cleaned. Uh, but as long as you don't clean it, uh, it's going to impact on you. It's literally going to impact your decision. It is forcing emotions on you, which are not your emotions. These are not yours. They're just projected at you through specific type of uh, actions, uh, which you allow in your life. So uh, the longer you allow this to happen, the deeper the trauma and the programming happens. And the more difficult it is to heal it, of course, you know. Um, all this impacts on all levels of your energy, your heart chakra, your soul chakra, your throat chakra, your third eye. And it can impact gradually uh, one uh, chakra at a time. Uh, but then uh, at some point it becomes a, a, an overall cloudness, a cloud of darkness, right? Uh, so um, all of these emotions that you go through, including all the emotions associated with this type of um, I was going to say promiscuous practices. God says just say sexual practices because people don't appreciate uh, labeling it. Um, okay, all, all of these uh, practices, you know, uh, because uh, sexuality is related to um, sensations and emotions, right? And uh, all of that basically is a result of a sec also of an energy programming. You have to know that um, all uh, sensations and emotions are created by darkness attachment and this created by darkness programming um, this comes from many many um, places not only from toxic relations but also from entertainment industry um, all uh, music and all uh, movies and and so on uh, all work with uh, certain vibrations which infuse your energy field with a certain message it's a subliminal message it's, it's a subliminal programming this is how um, the meditations you find on the internet clean your energy, also by subliminal uh, projection on you. Some of them even do more uh, da, uh, harm than good because they themselves are created in order to program you one way or another, to put strings on you or so on. Um, so all of this, for example, all TV industry and Hollywood industry and all of this is uh, uh, energy programming. And you will find this information is not something that I invented, you will see that even, for example, there are uh, musicians who actually say this. This is very honestly, and I, I said in my video about Prince, that he used that symbol, um, uh, which is basically uh, created uh, to fight sorcery. Um, it, it's it's a, a specific sign which is created to uh, fight sorcery, created particularly for sexual attacks. Um, so they all encounter this, because the industry of music or the... Um, producers and so on make money out of this this is how you have such huge crowds 
um, going frenetic uh, after um, a certain um, um, artist because that's it's, it's a mind programming you can see some of them that they lose their senses um, these people are programmed it's a um, idolatry type of uh, worshiping uh, which is caused by a darkness attachment which is basically projected through the music um, so uh, once you're programmed of course someone can ma manipulate you and can uh, take the programming further further and further um, you must understand that the true divine is pure. All humans come from divine. I said this in my video. Although uh, I do not find any empathy and I do not give any kind of um, justification or forgiveness to any of the people playing with darkness, uh, people must understand that karmics are humans as well. They uh, the, Their original blueprint, they came from divinity. Even the... Um, uh, darkness in 4D, there are, those are spirits of individuals who are trapped in 4D by this programming. Even that comes also from divinity. Um, so you must understand that um, this is not you. Uh, the simple truth is that uh, everyone uh, comes from divine. God has uh, created everything is on earth. Everything had an original blueprint of purity. Humans were originally um, of a blueprint of purity they all came from the divine and based on that you must to go back and see what exactly kind of programming was done on you and clean it it is that simple uh it's not simple to clean it but it is that simple to make the decision to start working on yourself honestly um and again programming starts with um and sexuality is being used uh, for programming for certain reasons. First of all, because the programming is so deep. Second of all, the sexual energy is the creative energy. It comes from sacral chakra um, and base chakra, uh, which are uh, the most important. It's a vital force. God says to me now, that is the vital force of, of the body. Um, so uh, this is why, because once they deplete you from that, basically your willpower, your strength uh, is depleted. Uh, then you wonder yourself why I don't have the discipline, why I don't have the power to do this. But this is why if you practice all these open relations and all these other practices of, 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 of group uh, sex and promiscuous uh, type of uh, all kind of orgies and, and rituals and stuff, um, you must understand that you do these rituals uh, in, invoking certain um, entities, certain um, uh, demons and so on. So you, you must understand the consequences on, on you. Uh, for example, um, another thing that I noted here to mention is that, um, I don't know what I wrote here. Can you imagine this? Yeah, there is an entity attachment for all of these people who are practicing all these um, uh, sexual-based uh, um, programmings, uh, which are rituals, which are... Um, all sorts of uh, type of orgies and, 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 and even these open relations are just the beginning of it. It's, it's a basically just a build-up and you go further and further or you can say lower and lower um, and you lose your power gradually with that. You must understand this is the consequence. But my point is that somebody has an agenda doing this on you and you stupidly signed up uh, to their agenda and you gave them your power now it is up to you to decide if you continue to if you want to continue to give them your power um, but the point of this video is to explain that you have a choice it is your choice so don't blame others and don't uh, hate on us <laughs> who are not doing it because we uh, we just have our own right to choose okay you you don't have you don't have rights to impose your style of living on anybody so, entity, for, for example, this type of uh, promiscuous practices are um, created by entity attachment uh, on people. Uh, for example, uh, entity um, which is enticing you to seek new, uh, to feel curious about uh, experiencing, um, to have a strong ego, uh, bullying, into, uh, to accept bullying into accepting these things. Um, then, uh, at a higher level, is the possession. Uh, 
uh, which uh, by extraterrestrial forces which actually feed from sexuality i have made a video about um i don't remember his name that individual in united states who is locked up and uh, he killed himself which had a, a, a prostitution network um and i explained uh, there uh, their um, extraterrestrial forces which feed on sexuality uh, these are the androgens they don't have sexual force and they feed on your sexual energy this is the ones that are programming you to do this these are uh, the ones who are embodying uh, the individuals who do these uh, ritualic practices uh, and ceremonial uh, practices um, which involve sexuality and, uh, and and so on and they feed for example from the energy of arouse, sexual arousal or others from uh, the energy of a sexual climax or others from different type of emotions and feelings because you emanate your energy at that point and they feed on that uh, these these are uh, creatures which do not have that power so they feed on you now if you're stupid enough to give them the power to do this that's your problem that is really your problem uh, the message of this video is that you are the one who chooses if you choose to give them the power to do it then that is your problem and you become responsible for the consequences of it on you and what you do on others um i mean um for example um uh they uh, create entity attachments on other people or there are people who are seeking to mind program you uh, and please go to the silent meditation uh, which uh, me video which I made, which I explain exactly how um, the um, mind programming is being created and how you can reprogram yourself, how you can cleanse uh, that and how you can reprogram yourself. It's basically uh, left, right uh, lobes of your cra uh, brain uh, on the lower back of your head. Um, that's the uh, emotion and the rational and they project on that uh, certain connection between a certain emotion and the sort uh, of uh, thought. So, for example, somebody puts in your mind the thought of um, promiscuity in different forms, right? And they connect it to um, uh, the, uh, the other lobe of the brain, uh, which resides in emotions. Uh, and they connect it to a specific type of, of emotion. For example, uh, I find an individual and I say, you should be homosexual from now on. Um, and uh, by mind programming, they can put that thought in your mind, project that thought in your mind, and connect it to the other lobe of uh, the brain uh, with sexual arousal. From that moment, point, when this is done successfully, from that moment forward, you, you will wake up all of a sudden feeling sexually aroused by the thought of being homosexual. And unfortunately, in, I know this is going to be very controversial, but I'm very sorry, but this is the truth and God has shown me. Uh, this, uh, all of this uh, homosexuality and lesbians and stuff like this, this is all mind programming. And please uh, note this, not even sexual programming, it's mind programming. It's mind programming, where basically they made certain connections in your brain uh, in such a way so certain thoughts of uh, even, for example, certain images of uh, two women together, for example, would trigger in your body a certain type of emotion uncontrollable it becomes if you keep feeding it because as you keep feeding it you gain a more uh, 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 demon attachments on you which feed from that okay so once you accept that mind programming all the other uh, androgen type of embodiment uh, on you and attachments on you uh, feed from you and then they amplify that up to a level where you cannot control it anymore okay but that's a mind programming you need to understand for example i'll give you another example uh, god has shown me uh, for example a demon type of attachment which uh, feeds on menstrual blood and god has shown me because i i keep understand asking god why is, are these people so uh, uh, you know obsessed why they cannot stop and god has shown me this is a demon which feeds on menstrual uh, blood which means uh, you are a man uh, somebody places this demon in you, feeding on sexual menstru uh, on menstrual um, blood of a certain woman. Let's say on me, on my uh, uh, menstrual blood. Now, you must know that a woman has uh, menstrual blood only a few days a month. All the other days of the month, when she's not on menstrual um, blood, 
you will be the demon which is placed upon you will be in in Romanian we say sevraj. I think in English you say withdrawal, like starving, starving from that for that menstrual blood because that demon is feeding on that. So the consequences on that individual would be that demon will drive him to go ha have sexual encounters with anyone desperate from that for that feeding thing but he will never get um, um, satisfied because he needs that blood because the demon in him needs that menstrual specific menstrual blood uh, to feed uh, and to uh, calm down right and god has shown me that there are individuals men and women and whatever uh, out there which have this kind of demon many types many of these demons in them like demons programmed on many other women um so basically if you have two or three type of demons programmed on two or three women menstrual blood that means that that demon is calm only when those women can produce that and if you encounter with them sexually because if if that woman doesn't accept sexual encounter with you you're gonna be always starving because your demon uh uh, is never fed it doesn't gain access to the, uh, that woman's uh, sexual blood so then that means 24 hours a day all your life until you get rid of that demon you will be going crazy right and you this you call addiction some people say oh i have a sexual addiction no you don't have a sexual addiction it is a demon and you must understand it is a spiritual finding you must understand what type of demon is placed on you you must understand what's he feeding on. How did you get attached or how did that demon get attached or sent to you? Find out how to clear it and fucking move on. I, I don't understand why people don't um, just deal with this um, spiritual fighting. You know, you see that something is wrong. You see that it's not yours, but you accept it. And then when it gains power over you, then you say, oh my God, I don't have power to do this. There's no such thing. I don't have power. As long as you stay with God and you work this is why i kept saying to everyone don't accept uh, karmic uh, uh, individuals back because they have a lot of cleaning to do they have to clean all this shit on them you cannot accept them back because they will drag you down it's as simple as that if you closed up a cycle with a karmic individual most likely you have to clean yourself from the trauma uh, from that uh, uh, engagement and and uh, you must move on because that means you are saved now the other individual must save himself but he must do the cleaning um so i gave you this example but there's much more being used like black magic sorcery necromancy spells incantations idolatry for example tantric practices are idolatry and worshiping and this bring different type of uh, similar type of demons like like extraterrestrial forces like the androgens which um, feed on specific type of energy so they generate that in you they amplify that sensation in you in order so you can reach the certain type of i don't know um, um, uh, climax or whatever so they can feed okay so um basically all of these are consequences of all of these open relations all of these multiple relations with everyone um all of this um this is an energy diagnosis uh for mostly uh, toxic relations and sexual type of programming because toxic relations usually are connected to sexuality not always but usually um and these are the main two concerns that god has now I, it seems with the karmics toxic relations and and sexuality and the main problem is that people need to understand first of all that all of these are practices and strategies to break your speed first of all and program your mind uh this is so they can control you so these are practices to break your spirit you must work on yourself and all of them can clean, be cleaned up it's just programming energy programming everything everything is energy programming of course um, when it's a, about trauma bonding then that's much more healing that you need to do but still it's an energy that you can clean and you can heal and you can only do that with the divine vialum um, as they will um, uh, reveal to you ancestral um, uh, traumas so previous lifetimes uh, traumas 
uh, which reside because usually when it's something really deep that means it comes from a previous lifetime so you need to do ancestral healing that means you need to go back to the previous life when that was created to understand how it was created what were the consequences what was the behavior uh, consequences uh, and programming on you so you can understand how to break it in this lifetime okay um so um i this is not uh, comprehensive this is not a full uh, diagnosis because there's so complex this is so complex but i gave you just a few examples so you will understand that all of this is based on an uh, on energy programming and breaking your spirit and basically it's a matter of choice the choices you make have consequences just like i said in the previous video you must understand the consequences of your choices what it means when you break you imagine uh, people have all of these entities especially people who engage in these uh, um, orgies and these multiple relations and open relations they have these entities on them now imagine each karmic cycle that you open each relation sexual relation that you engage in or even if you um, um, are loyal to your partner but your partner is engaging in multiple relations right um they bring this to you this type of programming with each individual with whom you engage sexually you pick up their karma you pick up their entities you pick up their mental programming uh, because it's an energy you exchange energy right you basically uh, merge with that person energetically from a soul level from a mind level from uh, all of those emotions create a common aura between the two of you. This is how God conceived the man and the woman to be oneness, integrated. They have a common aura uh, that brings their energy together and integrate together. And you do that with everyone. Um, so you can understand how much that God has conceived this for a healing purpose. Right? But you doing this with everyone... It, you turn it into um, uh, an instrument of programming and of destroying yourself and the others. Uh, it is not a healing anymore. That's not a healing anymore. It's only a perception you have that you heal it when um, it's a, a energy release because you have that entity on you which is uh, in withdrawal. So when you feed that entity, you feel better. But it's not a healing. That is not a healing. That's a stupid thing. Uh, the true healing is to get rid of the entity and to heal and clean the energy that that entity placed upon you. It's very important you understand this because that's, uh, that's not a healing. When you keep doing all of these uh, sexual things, that's not a healing. That's just you fed your entities like you feed animals in your courtyard, in your household, you know. So then it's quiet because you fed them. They have food. They are calm. They don't bother you. That's all that happens. That is not healing. Um, in order 